I'm changing it up for this one. I promise you guys, if you tuned into the stream last night, I was playing Need for Speed Unbound, and I promised I'd make a handheld video showing the game performing in its handheld form. It did all right on docked mode. We're talking like 30 to 40 frames, sometimes 60. It was depending on what was going on in the game, depending on how fast the cars were. The faster the car, the more stuttery or laggy the game looked. And this game does support features like FSR. I'm playing this off of the EA desktop app. And I added the launcher to Steam and then launched the game that way. If you have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you can uh, you have access to EA Play. And basically, you get a 10-hour trial of the game. Or if you have EA Pro membership, you can just play the game with your membership. Or you can buy the game at $70, which is pretty steep. But I'm just trying it on this 10-hour trial. And last night, I had a lot of fun trying this. It got me off guard how much I actually like this game. Um, but we do need controller software. If you have Glossy or Swiss D or any of the controller software for Steam Deck, you're going to need that to play on the E8 desktop app. Mine is renamed Controller, but it's actually Glossk. Uh, if you don't know what that is, uh, by this point, I don't really know how to really direct people to get it. I don't know if it's available. You're just going to have to do some research on uh, Glossy, Glossk, or Swiss D or any controller software uh, so that you can play games outside of steam on other launchers with the steam deck controller and this one has never failed me but i know people were telling me it's not available and stuff anymore if you watch my xbox game pass video i explain how i downloaded my controller software the music in this game really adds to the experience but unfortunately it is copyrighted music um and i don't want like it's licensed music and i don't want to get like a monetization or a copyright ban or anything like that on the video so we're gonna go ahead and turn off the music which is fine if you play the game you will realize real quickly that the music is one of the main aspects that add to the game other than the effects that are like the main draw to the game it's a need for speed game with into the spider verse comic book ish um animation and art which is awesome i think it's really great that they tried something to we're going to look at graphics here real quick. Vertical sync is on 12 whatever by 800. I always forget the Steam Deck resolution. 1280 by 800, I think it is. I always confuse it with 1260 or 12 whatever. This game does support FSR, which is amazing. I'm loving that games are starting to add this uh, to their up sampler section or their graphic section in their game because this is what really makes uh, the game run so well. Having that lower resolution and upscaling it to look better. And then I have up sampler preset on balance. We could go performance, but I'm going to leave it on balance for now. And then I'm going to turn, by default, the up sampler sharpening is on 50. I'm going to do that. Graphic quality is on auto. There is no low setting, I think. They don't want you to play this game at low settings. There is medium, high, and ultra, uh, as far as I've seen. So we got high, ultra, custom. And then if we go down here, we only... Go oh, there is low. Okay, I lied. I don't know why I couldn't get to the low setting yesterday. Okay, we got texture. You know, we're going to go all low, see how it looks. Is there not a preset for low? Is that why I'm, like, tweaking? Yeah, so on graphics quality, there is no low section. It's only when you go to custom where you can turn it down to low. And I did manage to get a frame counter on here. People were asking me, like, if I could get a frame counter going. I couldn't get a Steam overlay frame counter. I couldn't find an EA uh, overlay counter. So what I did was I opened Xbox Game Bar and there's widgets you can add to your screen and I added the Xbox Game Bar FPS counter and it's going to be right there, which is fine. I won't have it there when I'm actually playing the game. This is just strictly for this video and to see where it's at during this video. But we're going all low because what I've noticed mainly playing on Steam Deck is when we go all low, the games still look great just because of how tiny the, the uh, resolution is and the screen is. So we're on low everything, custom. Mind you, I was playing on high and medium and I was managing to still play the game. Yeah, there's my character. I made my character. The customization is pretty cool. You can customize your character. You can customize your car. They have name brands. They got Versace in there, Balmain or Balmon, whatever. We got Champion, Puma, Vans. They got quite a bit in there. So it's pretty cool. So by the looks of it, the open world in general seems like it's going to be 30 to 40 frames around there. It is a, you know, open map. This is the map right here. And what I did notice was that initially when they dropped me into the game, the frames were immediately 
higher than the open world. I feel like the specific races and or races in specific areas, um, more closed off areas and zones in the map will run better than just roaming the open world. But I mean, 30 frames, around 30, 30 to 40 frames in the open world is not terrible. Uh, mind you, this is a new game. There might be further optimization or settings that I'm not aware of that will make this run a whole lot better. But for now, 30 is like reasonable. The fact that it's playable is nice, I guess. Like I said, the faster you go, that's when you start to notice like the frame rates and the stutters a whole lot more. The colors, though, the colors look magnificent. Like, I actually really love this game's color palette. I'm doing donuts in the football field right now, yo. Looks like the Prowler's Whip from Spider Man. Skrrr! Donut bonus. Yeah, this game's dope. Street race, factory record. I'm gonna do this race. Um, and after this, I'm going to turn off the overlays and not use the Steam Deck overlay, this uh, Steam Deck overlay on Windows, and we're gonna see if we get anything better, like if it feels any better. It's the game, the race probably already started. I'm left in the dust, oh, yep. Got left in the dust, yo. I'll come back from these though, let's see. 44 frames, not bad. Forty-two, yeah. So we're looking at like thirty, forty frames. Open world definitely lower than a dedicated race. I just want to say I'm a terrible driver, but once I master this drift, it's wraps. All right. Freaking police is in the way. Did she just say, what should I buy with your money? Look at that, we're at 50 frames now. I really think it just depends on the areas in the game. It looks really nice at the upper 40s and 50. See, like, this is like the smoothest I've seen it. Maybe it's because it's less uh, pedestrians and stuff in the area. Ooh. Oh my god, it just crashed into the wall. Skrr, swerving. That's my little pose right there. Mm, ooh, close call. Look, we're going to watch the frames go from 54, and as we get closer to the city, it's going to start dropping, I'm guessing. Satin black. Let's go. There, something simple real quick. We're on a timer here. I can't be spending too much time. You guys know I spent like hours on the character customization yesterday. I can't be can't be wasting my time like that, man. Dang, the way it spawned me in, this looks like Batman, yo. We in Gotham. For real, for real. Oof. That was the police. <laughs> Almost crashed into the police. She get the itch, man. God, I can't stand my character's voice. He needs a deeper voice. It's something solid. Just doesn't fit him. Doesn't fit the way he looks. Nighttime be looking pretty, yo. That was pretty dope. Shopping spree. Oof. That thing looks crispy, yo. Okay. We skirting, baby. They're all way faster than me, it looks like. Damn.
Oh my god. Man, get out of my way, bro. Oh, of course. Hard to crash. You can pretty much run anything over except for cars. You're crashing into those hard. Ooh, the gas station looks all nice. If you drive through gas stations, uh, it actually repairs your car. It's pretty cool. I have a back button, one of the paddle buttons to set to A so I can boost with that as well. Then don't lose, bud. Oh, then he passed me. I'm in third. I'm gonna catch up to old boy. Oh, this guy's playing dirty. Uh oh, on oncoming traffic. Ah! We're at like a solid 40 frames right now. Oh, 37, 39. Away from me. Finished in second. <laughs> Just crashed through everything. There's no way you're telling me the aesthetic for this game doesn't look cool. You must not like comic books or cool stuff. <laughs> I mean, I don't think everyone likes comic books, but... There's no way, dude. Like, you gotta appreciate the art sometimes. It's cool. And just because I'm that curious, I went ahead and closed everything, restarted the Steam Deck, and I'm not gonna open Steam or use the controller software. I'm gonna use uh, an Xbox controller through Bluetooth and just go straight into the EA launcher here and open the game. So, here we go. And the controller should pick up. It's already saying it's turned on. And let me see if the overlay shows up. Yep, overlay shows up. So, we should be able to play without using any like steam related anything if you're using a controller and I am gonna load into the online this time online in this game is really cool I really like it so far you can race with your friends obviously you can roam the world the open world with your friends which is really cool and you have like the whole separate character here's uh, my character right here I actually have a G class a AMG Mercedes over here and it's one of the starter cars you get. The other one's a Golf GTI. And I forget what the third car was. But I made a female character for my online character. Just because I had a male character for the story mode. And I, and I, if you watched the stream from yesterday. I, I took so long to edit her. Or like to customize her. And I accidentally backed out and everything got deleted. So I made a whole different looking character really quickly. But I actually like how it came out. So it's pretty cool. Here's my uh, character. Here's her car. Looks pretty cool. The satin, whatever this paint is, looks pretty dope. And I also like her outfit. I need more money, though, so I could cop the real drip. Because they got, like I said, different... They got hella clothing brands in here. Versace. We got Fila. We got... um, Yeah. They got Balmain. Balmain. Paris. Vans off the wall. Guizio. Champion. They got all that. So, we need to get some money for the drip. It's my only ride right now. It's my little baby. It goes pretty fast for it to be um a... Whoa, I can make it faster. Hold on, guys. I might have to... <laughs> might have to upgrade this thing. I can't even afford the next upgrade, so... Never mind. We're just gonna jump into the, the world here. As you can probably tell, there's a ton of events in the online. And basically, each of these events or meetup spots gives you, like, playlist options. The playlist consists of three races. And you can... Play with a friend by yourself and your party only, or you can invite other players in the area. It looks like this server does have some people in it. And also, you can just receive invites just from simply driving around in the open world. See, like, right there, someone just randomly invited the lobby. And now we are in this race, whatever race this is. It's only me and him. I have to use the loner car. It's an AMG A45 Corner King. This is a drifting race. It's probably going to be really bad for me. Because, uh, yeah, I haven't mastered drifting in this game yet. I don't even see him on the map. Oh, he's all the way up there. I like this race, though. I need to get good. <laughs> That's what I need to do. But you guys aren't here to see me perform. Come on now. You're here to see if the game works. Ooh! 
Jesus. Okay, okay, this is, yeah, they weren't lying when this was the corner king race. This has got to be like an A or S tier race, because I've done a lot of B tiers, and it was uh, not this hard. This is like for drift kings, for real. Oh my god. We scarting, baby. Yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't say the performance is that much better. Like, just from how it looks. I wouldn't say it's that much better by closing all the programs and stuff. I think it's going to be pretty much the same. That was a decent drift right there. I need the drifting, I need to get way better at it. It's like, I need to master that thing. Swaxing. Swaxing smoke, people, bro. Uh, ooh, we finished. At least we didn't get DNF. We got a Corvette this time. I don't know if this is going to be any better. Totally scuffed that drift race. Yeah, it was, it was not good. Oh, wait. I got to keep it in the green. Yes, sir. See ya. I actually got the launch. I don't think he knows about the launch. That might be my advantage. This looks like Forza right here. I think I did this race last night and I said the same thing. There it is. I'm learning. Maybe. I'm just expecting myself to crash at any moment. Ooh. Okay, I'm, I'm in full concentration. Sorry for being quiet. It's one of those races where I'm pretty sure we're like at 30 frames consistently or 40 or something because of how fast the car is. That was me drifting by letting go of the gas and then just hard pressing it. Oh my god, I can't even see! I was like, where's the road? This guy way far behind? I think he's way far. I don't even see him on the mini-map. I think he might be AFK. Was he ever moving? I don't remember if he was moving. Oh, that's not even the finish line. This is a pretty long race. Or 90%. Wait, do I see him on the map? Nope, nope. I don't see him on the map. Alright, here we go. It's about to be over. Skrrr! Flew in there. Let's give him a chance to finish the race, but I think... Oh, he is actually playing. All right. Oh, no, it's the Corner King. Wait, is, is that just the name of the... That might be, just be the name of the playlist. I think the Blue Collar is the name of the actual race. She looks pretty dope. She looks pretty dope, too. Shh. Oh, I did a bad start. I wasn't paying attention. Right, let's just uh, trail him here for a second. Oh my god, I... I uh, that was terrible. I think we could catch up. I don't know. I was just... I looked up at the camera to see if we were in focus. And then I crashed really hard. Wait, is that him right there? I think we still might be good. Yeah, I think he got me this time. I'm looking at the map because I could barely see what's in front of me. He's in front of me a little bit. I think he might have crashed. A Lamborghini in the dirt, not the best. I'll tell you that much. What the hell? It just went like 60 frames for a second. Oh! Damn it, that was my chance.
Do you like the outer skirts of the map just run better when you're not in the city? I need to start tapping drift instead of just holding it really hard. There we go. Yeah, see that? Ooh. Oh my god, I choked. Whatever. Skirt. Boom. Right into, <laughs> right into the grass. But that's going to be pretty much it for this video. I'm really... I just love looking at this G-Class driving all crazy in this beautiful environment. We'll end it with some donuts. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this game or are looking forward to enjoying this game. If you have Game Pass Ultimate, make sure you try this free trial if you're like iffy about spending the full amount on the game. It is a pricey game at the moment. But pretty fun, especially if you have someone to play with. I gotta say that. But yeah, you did good, um, EA. Need for Speed with this art style, I think, is a is actually a good thing. I'm not mad at it. People that are mad at it are crazy. I'll leave it at that. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.